Okay, we're back, folks. Um, bless you. But uh, I got another. I got another one here. I got. Uh, let's see. Oh, another uh, bear model. This is um, from the original Ultraman, uh, Gavadon. Now I actually have a smaller figure of him. Let me get it here. I have the the newer little 2013 um, Bandai one here. Tiny Ultra 500 figure. This is more accurate paint job. Um, I, I kind of like this one more now. <laughs> I, I like it when he's, I don't know, it's kind of weird that they made him stand up in this one, but he's, he's look at his face on this one. It's very, he looks like he's, I don't know, he's, he looks like he, uh, you know, like, I don't know, maybe he farted in a room and everybody's kind of like, who farted? And he's kind of like, kind of smirking to himself, kind of like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know, he's just got a kind of a weird, mischievous grin to him. I don't know, I like that. But, um, he's a big, he's a big one too. It's like, I don't have my ruler on me, but, but here, here's like a standard six inch bandai so he's about like nine inches i was kind of shocked because he's he's bigger than some of these other figures i have uh just a comparison <clears throat> like i got this i'll do another i'll do a review of this guy next uh, uh red gyrus but he's a yamanaya but you can tell i mean look at the the bear models are, they're even thicker in vinyl than, than the Yamanaya one. So, yeah. But yeah, he's from the original series. I don't, I don't think he does a lot. I think he just, I don't know. You, you, uh, I'll post a link to, to his uh, bio, but I haven't seen the episode. I, I had to get around to finishing the original Ultraman series. I, I, I kind of skipped around and I watched all the really good ones. Well, I say the good ones, but then I missed like the Antler, Antler one and I missed, uh, missed some of the really prominent ones too, but I did see some of the bigger ones, like, you know, with the first one with the Red King and such, but, but, um, of course, Gamma Kajira, I saw that one. <laughs> Wouldn't, my channel wouldn't be named after him if I hadn't seen that one. But, uh, this guy's very similar to, uh, like, Sky Dawn, too. I, I think that, yeah, I think they reused all the costumes. Like, Gavadon, Sky Dawn, and then Gamma Kajira. So, the, these monsters are very similar looking. Like, they, uh, you know, I don't know if they're related or something, but... I mean, I know it's just a costume, but it's gonna... Well, it's, and you sneeze a lot, don't you? But um, yeah, this is a nice figure. It's got there's I like there's a, another one that I actually like the color more on. It's like a magenta, and then kind of a kind of light pink, and then it's got like green on. It. So it, oh my, I get kind of like a watermelon vibe from it. I call it a watermelon paint job, but but uh, but this one's great too. Nice textures and stuff. Little dots on them. So yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up. Back in the day, I was like, "Oh, these are so common. They're they're thirty, forty dollars. Uh, I'll pick them up one day. I'm not worried about." It. And then, you know, almost ten years later, I'm like, "Oh crap! I had to spend a lot of money to get these. <laughs> not too much, but but it's like, oh, they're so expensive nowadays. So." If you're into the monster, you want the character, go and look it up. Go find it. Because they're getting harder and harder to find. Especially these bear models, man. They're just they're crazy price. If they're mint in bag, I mean, you're going to have to spend uh, over 100 bucks on it. And I got some of the some of the bear models, like, mint in bag, too. Like, like the Anon one. And such. But thankfully, not many people like Anon, I think. I might be one of the weird ones that like him a lot. But anyways, uh, stop rambling. I hope you enjoyed the review. And have a wonderful day. And God bless.